Dear Dhamma friends, I would like to start with the Dhamma Pada. Uh, I like to go back to stanza number 206. In Dhamma Pada, stanza number 206. Sadhu Dasana Mariyanam Sannivaso Sada Sukho Adasane Balanam Nichameva Sukhisya. Brief meaning of this stanza is it is good to see the noble ones, Aryans. To live with them is always a pleasure. Not seeing fools is also always pleasure. There are two things that they're going to talk in this particular stanza. One is, what are the best things that you can see to get blessings upon you for, to increase your happiness? And other things, what are the causes which is uh, unhelpful and also making trouble for us? These two things are the things that they go, that mentioned in this stanza. First one, sadhu dasanam aryanam. Aryanam, noble nobles. The word Aryanan is very deep. It has a very deep meaning. Who are the Aryans? Are Aryans, there is a clan in the in Indian tradition. That is not the things that, they, that we're going to discuss in here, in this particular stanza. Arya means great, actually not great, the greatest the greatest. As you know, the Buddha did not uh, explain someone can be a great person by birth. That is not Buddha's explanation. Someone can be a great person by doing, being a good human being, being a person who has a lot of wholesome thoughts and activities, that person can be a good person, great person, excellent one in this world. So, Aryanandasana, if you have, as us, if we have a chance to see that kind of people, it is blessings for us. It is blessings and also it is very pleased to see them. If you can see those Aryans, people who develop their insight, people who has established their happiness, wholesomeness, to see them, it is a blessing. Yes, why not? It is a blessing because they don't have jealous, they don't have anger, they don't have uh, any kind of defilements to do any harmful things for others. That much clear. They are full of loving friendliness thoughts, compassionate thoughts, and all other wholesome thoughts are there with them. This is the nature of the person that we consider as Aryan. According to the Buddhist explanations, Aryans are the Buddha, Pacheka Buddha, and Narahanta. Also, who are on the path to attain enlightenment, attaining first sainthood level Sotapan, second level Sagadagami, third level Anagami. Who are on this path, we are considering them as Arya. Arya. So, now you can, you can see who are the Aryans that Buddha mentioned in this instance directly who are on the path. Perhaps the Buddha, uh, Pacheka Buddha and Narahanta already finished their journey, they attain enlightenment. Uh, who are on the way, 
to attain enlightenment, sotapanna, sakadagami, anagami, anagami. But it is guaranteed by the Buddha they are definitely attaining enlightenment. That is guaranteed by the Buddha. Not just the Buddha, even the guaranteed by the Dhamma. So dear friends, if you have a chance to see them, how nice, how uh, peaceful, how pleasure it. Why? How we can get uh, increase our happiness seeing them? Seeing their appearance, when we have chance to see them, we, we have opportunity to listen to them. Their words are very peaceful. Their words are not regarding lying, harsh words, and useless words, malicious words. They don't have these three. These, these four, they don't have because they completely eliminate defilements so their words are so peaceful, so gentle, so humble, so innocent. Their mind are clean, so their words also clean. Then you don't like to see the, that kind of people. Everybody like to see that kind of people. Everybody hate to see who are lying. If someone lie to you, you don't like to see that person again. If someone uh, using some bad word for you, you don't like to see that person again. If someone uh, cheating, telling some uh, uh, something about you or some some uh, about someone else, you don't like to meet that kind of person. Because you know there's useless things are there, malicious things are there. You don't like it. So now you can see why the Buddha said, this is the practical way that you can see why the Buddha said, it is good to see the noble ones. Why noble ones does not have any defilements in their mind. Particularly their words are very clean. Their accents also very clean. They are established their happiness, they establish their wholesomeness. Who don't like to see that kind of people? Not only human beings, even the devas like to see them. Even the animals, all, all other living beings like to see them. But there are some people who are nasty, they don't like to see. They, that kind of uh, mentality is the reasons not allowing to see that kind of good people. That's why there were some people who were not able to see the Buddha. Even though they were lived, they were living very close to the Buddha. There was a person who lived next to the Jetavana monastery, but he did not get any pure thoughts to see the Buddha. It's happened. It's happened in, 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 in this area, in our meditation uh, center located in a very rural area in the forest. But time to time, you, we can see some people are around here. They are living around here, but they don't get uh, thoughts to come here to practice meditation, develop insight. They don't get uh, thoughts. But some people who are living in uh, Florida, California, sometimes out of the country, likewise, German, Australia, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, or Sri Lanka, they like, they spend their time and money to come to Bhavana and stay here a few days. This happened, same thing was there during the Buddha's time. Some people who lived next to the Buddha, they were not able to come to see the Buddha, because they had wicked mind. They had wicked mind. They did not develop their mind, so they was not able to get the benefits seeing the Buddha, listening to the Buddha. But 
person who has enough merits and who develop their mind in some degrees, they have opportunity to see noble ones and enjoy, seeing they can enjoy the noble ones. How not just see them, how if, if we have a chance to live with them, how would be the nature? It is one of greatest opportunity that we have in this world. Why? They're so serene, so peaceful, so happy. There is no any reasons to have any uh, conflicts to, uh, when you get a chance to live that kind of environments. In that environment, there is no any reasons to arise any conflicts. Why? All the beings who are there, they are established their wholesomeness. Aryans are already established their wholesomeness in their mind. So who are going to live with them, they also get can get that influence. Can get that influence with them always a pleasure. Not seeing fools is also always a pleasure, same as not seen fools, it is also a pleasure. Why? Think about this world. Social medias and medias are very powerful in this world. You can see so many people, uh, sometimes the very, very famous people in the world that we call uh, uh, the maybe uh, actress, actors, actress, all these people, famous people are there. But if they are foolish, what kind of things that you can get seeing them? You can't gain nothing. Why? Because their foolishness is something that it is not helping for you to gain anything, any wholesomeness or any good thing, any good thoughts. It's the nature. So not to see fools is also pleasure for us. Uh, for example, I can give, if you don't like someone, just think about this, there's a politician, you don't like that policy, politician. If you uh, somehow accidentally, when you see that politician, how would be your mind? Anger is arising. You don't like to see that politician. Why? Hatred is there. Seeing that person, your hatred is going in your going through your mind and making unwholesome thoughts. Anger is arising. You don't like it. So Fool is, not to see fool is, is kind of bliss that we can gain. Therefore, friends, to see Aryans, noble ones, is pleasure. And also living with them is a great opportunity that we can have in our life. And also, if you are able to stay without seeing foolish, fools, then that is also kind of blessings for us in this life. Around the world, you can see, we are sharing so many thoughts with others, knowledge with others. Think about if we got some message, thoughts, ideas, concepts from Polis one, then we are also in trouble. We are also in trouble. Now you can see around the world the problem, alcohol, drugs. Who create this concept and who spread this con concept? Polis. So you know the results. If there is addicted people for drugs or alcohol, you know the results. Their parents are suffering, brothers, sisters and suffering, uh, co-workers are suffering, uh, and uh, civilians also suffering 
all the system collapse because of their behavior. So the reason is foolishness. Reason is foolishness. Therefore, friends, if you don't have police people in this world, in this society, how would be the nature of this society peaceful? Happiness is there. Always we can live happily and peacefully. Peace is one of goal for our life. Around the world, people are fighting, people are burning, arguing, and uh, so many uh, conflicts are there. All these things are happening. Why? Because our foolishness. Because our foolishness. We as Buddhist followers, what we are trying, we are trying to get rid of that foolishness from us. That is the purpose of life for Buddhist follower. As Buddhist follower, we are trying, we are doing everything. Everything means our practice, practice is based on to reduce our foolishness and get rid of the foolishness. That is our main goal for our life. So we are working on that. We are working on that. I would like to mention one thing. As you know, meditation is one of very popular things in, in, the, in, the, in modern society. So one day I was questioning from one person who came to practice meditation. What is the purpose of practicing meditation? That, that person replied to me, my purpose is to reduce stress, anxiety, and depression. I said, okay, that is good uh, ambition, good things, uh, good purpose, but Buddhist purpose is different. As a Buddhist follower, I do practice meditation not to reduce my stress, anxiety, and depression. It is something very simple. I do practice meditation to increase my wisdom, establish my wisdom, Gain my wisdom. That is the main purpose. Why? As you know, in depending origination, starting with Avijapacha Sankara, first thing we have to work against Avijja, ignorance. That is our object, that is our main goal. In Noble Late Pole Path, starting with Samaditti. Right understanding. Right understanding is something regarding your mind. If you don't have clear mind, establish happiness, how you can have right understanding. That is your vision. So we practice meditation not to, not to just reduce stress, anxiety, depression. These are very simple things simple results that we can achieve. We practice meditation to gain wisdom. That is our goal. Why? We know nobles are calm, peaceful, happy to see them, happy to live with them. Then we can experience that serenity. We can experience that calmness. Others serenity is not help. I mean, we can get some support, but I should develop my serenity. I should gain that serenity. I should gain my calmness. Then I can enjoy and I can enjoy. So this is our purpose. This is our practice. So we are based on, we are uh, focusing on these goals to achieve these goals. So our meditation, our path directly uh, uh, focus on to achieve all these goals. So we are working on that. 
we are working on this path to gain, to achieve all these uh, uh, wishes, all, all these uh, uh, goals. So let us practice using these opportunities without wasting our time, without wasting this human life. This is the message that you can keep today in your mind and to gain your energy to practice Dhamma, to gain your strength to, get, uh, to practice Dhamma. This is the message for today. Uh, thank you very much for your participation. I think uh, 